city appeal uh, of the water commissioner ruling was motivated uh, primarily by attempting to ensure that the contractors and developers in Missoula were protected with respect to their water main extension development agreements which they had with Mountain Water and uh, there's uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 22 to 23 million dollars in contracts that the developers have had to enter into with Mountain Water where the developers pay uh, for installation of a water main to serve their subdivision or to serve their development and then uh, Mount Water has 40 years generally in which to pay back the uh, developers for their investment into uh, the water system by extending and installing a water main. And earlier this week on Monday, uh, Judge Karen Townsend uh, made rulings that uh, allowed the developers to be represented to their legal counsel in the proceedings to protect their interest with respect to those development contracts. The city had proposed that the city would assume responsibility for them and include that clearly in the $88.6 million. But the judge uh, felt that the contractors had their own attorney who could adequately represent them, so she ruled in favor of allowing them in, and we felt that that also then provided them with the representation that they needed to ensure that uh, they do not um, have any adverse effects. There was concern expressed by uh, developers in affidavits and the legal pleadings that were filed by their attorney that uh, there was concern Mount Water wasn't going to honor those contracts or be responsible for those it was a concern expressed uh, that the city wanted to ensure uh, was, there was no adverse impact on the developers because they're in the community, they live and work here, uh, and we want to be sure that uh, they do not uh, get an adverse impact that leaves them out a bunch of money because of this transaction. Okay. Well, now, let me ask you, uh, Does not have, how will not having this trial either benefit or harm the city in its efforts to obtain uh, the water delivery system? Well, the decision was made that uh, as long as the district court judge had protected uh, the developers who had the development agreements, uh, that the city could uh, live with the uh, monetary award of the water commissioners. And so uh, that was a more certain number, and it was decided that uh, the city would uh, work with the court to finalize all the numbers and work with the water commissioner award of $88.6 million. All right. So what happens next, Jim? Well, there will be lots of motions and things that have to get clarified, and there will be some clarification also needed uh, from the developer's perspective about their contracts, but there will also be uh, uh, interest in getting clarification with respect to costs and legal fees as well as uh, any interest that has to be paid from the date of the summons. So there will be uh, some more matters that the court will still have to review and decide. There's also the necessity appeal that uh, the defendants have pending at the Montana Supreme Court. The necessity appeal has been fully briefed and we're awaiting uh, the Montana Supreme Court decision. The state law requires the courts to expeditiously process uh, eminent domain type proceedings like this so uh, we anticipate that in the reasonably foreseeable future, there's likely to be a Montana Supreme Court ruling uh, with respect to District Court Judge uh, Karen Townsend's necessity ruling that came out in June of 2015. All right. How will the city know, one way or the other, you know, 100 percent, whether they've either won this case or lost this case? Well... I think that the 
necessity ruling uh, when made by the Supreme Court if in favor of the city is likely going to be the final ruling that will be necessary for allowing the city to proceed forward uh, in implementing the water commissioner award and any final numbers that have to be worked out with the court. All right. So I think primarily we're waiting for the Montana Supreme Court ruling sure. on the necessity appeal. Have, have After the, that, we see it being implemented, and uh, we will be uh, working towards uh, the implementation. If the Montana Supreme Court rules in our favor, the city will start moving towards implementation of its acquisition. All right. Now, let me ask you this. Uh, should that happen, what, what about the uh, agreement that, that Carlisle and Parkwater made to sell to, An- to Algonquin, will that uh, pretty much uh, terminate that agreement? That's not our issue, and the uh, Public Service Commission proceedings have been stayed, and they would have to be rescheduled, but once a municipality is not subject to the jurisdiction of the Public Service Commission, and uh, once the necessity ruling comes down, if it's in favor of the city, uh, it's just a matter of finalizing the documents to have put the city in possession. And there's nothing for Mount Water, Carlisle, Western Water to be selling. All right. I think that uh, all that will be kind of a sidebar uh, proceeding in the future, but right now, a different district court judge here in Missoula has stayed the proceedings of the Public Service Commission so that they won't be having a hearing in the immediate future.